We have truly sad news today from the world of pillows and sheets and slippers and mostly pillows. My pillow CEO and founder Mike Lindell, a guy whose name we have not mentioned for a while on the program, but who's been a guest on the program multiple times. He is now auctioning off the equipment to make pillows because the company is suffering so badly as a direct result of Mike Pillow waging a multi year campaign against logic and reason and attaching himself to uh, election conspiracy theories that have cost him at, at most recent uh, tally thirty five to forty million dollars. This is amazing stuff. The Star Tribune reports my pillow is auctioning off equipment after retailers pull its products. CEO Mike Lindell says annual sales fell one hundred million dollars after several big box retailers cut ties following his election claims. Remember that phrase that they they love um, get woke, go broke or go woke, get broke or the whole point is if you start supporting social justice publicly, you will lose your business because it's bad for business or whatever the case may be. Instinctually, intuitively, we suspected that it's not really true. It really seems not to be true. Uh, My pillow did the exact opposite of going woke. They uh, started just supporting the crazy election lies of Donald Trump, and it is not going well. And this does this make you sad or does this make you happy? That's the question I have. I want to hear from you. My pillow is auctioning off hundreds of pieces of equipment and subleasing manufacturing space after several shopping networks and major retailers took the company's product off the shelves. The Chaska based manufacturer recently listed more than 850 surplus equipment items on the online auction site K bid sewing machines, industrial fabric spreaders, forklifts. Even the desks and chairs are up for auction. Think of that. My pillow is failing so hard that pillow is selling the desks and chairs where his employees sit. Founder and CEO Mike Lindell said my pillow has experienced a loss in revenue and the items are no longer needed as the company consolidates its operations. Major retailers such as Walmart, Bed Bath and Beyond and Slumberland Furniture. I've never heard of that one. All say they will no longer sell my pillow products as Lindell continues to falsely claim the 2020 election was stolen from former President Trump. Lindell said in a phone interview yesterday, quote, it was a massive, massive cancellation. We lost one hundred million dollars from attacks by the box stores, the shopping networks, the shopping channels. All of them did cancel culture on us. The auction doesn't appear related to the one point three billion dollar defamation lawsuit targeting both Lindell and my pillow. What was that thing he used to say about his machines? We're doing a class action lawsuit against all machines. Right. Well, it seems now that the machines have turned on him and that they are no longer making pillows. He is auctioning off the machines. Honestly, should I look into maybe getting one of these machines like would that would it be an interesting thing to get one of the famous my pillow items um, checking out on some of the things that are available? There's a 2008 Freightliner a Freightliner truck uh, for grand. That would be an interesting thing. I could get one of the pillow trucks. They have all sorts of different trucks and sprinter vans. There's a sprinter van available for twenty five hundred dollars. This is a fire sale. You can get a pillow forklift for a thousand bucks. You can get a um, (laughs) an air compressor of some kind. I don't know what I would do with most of these things, to be totally honest. But there is some element of this that's sad. But pillow has been so damaging. I could get boxes for a hundred bucks. All right. It's depressing me to keep looking at that. If you think I should look at maybe obtaining some of these items, uh, let me know. And we can look into that. But it does really seem like a fire sale. This could be the end of my pillow. It turns out that going anti woke did not work well. Should we be happy about this? I don't know. Let me know. We need to teach kids to think critically and independently, and we aren't doing a good enough job of it. I have a book right here that teaches kids critical thinking. I wrote this book and it's available on Amazon at davidpackman.com slash book. This is told through the story of a kid detective. The idea is critical thinking, thinking independently is like solving a mystery. 
getting clues, evaluating them, thinking through scenarios. The right knows that when kids think critically, they don't end up being Republicans when they're adults. And that's why they hate teaching kids critical thinking. This book alone won't solve the problem, but it will get kids interested. Get a copy, Kindle paperback at davidpackman.com slash book.